Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars! <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with a new and possibly a very exciting episode. Guys, we are continuing exploring and summarizing and reassuming and whatever and whatnot. The year 2023. And right now I am having a very interesting collection of the powders. <laughs> Which I believe if you have a mature skin, finding a right powder that is going to set your makeup or lock your makeup or give you a beautiful finish. It's a challenge. So guys, I got you covered because, because I had a great pleasure to explore a vast variety of um, of powders during my reviews for the year of 2023 and since we are having a December Christmas type of a uh, of a, an episode here they are ready f uh, ready to you know f I'm ready to talk about them so yes guys if this is something that interests you welcome <laughs> please tune in to my channel to the party where we celebrate diversity and beauty because diversity makes us all different gorgeous and beautiful let's start today's episode today's episode is all about my personal favorite powders of the year 2000 2023. Are you curious? Would you like to know what kind of products they are? Here you go. Let's start today's episode. All right, guys, and so here we are ready to start this episode. We have certain categories when it comes to the powders. We have uh, powders, in the best powder in the under eye area, the setting powder, and then the finishing powders. Because obviously, a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm over 40 years old. My skin is normal to dry, and I have a definitely certain demands uh, when it comes to the powders. I am not a very big fan of the setting powder but I am a big fan of the finishing powders what's the difference between the setting powder and the finishing powder it's simple setting powder actually is setting your makeup is locking your makeup and keeping it in place trying to extend the longevity for as long as possible while the finishing powder gives you a finishing touch a fix uh, an effect to your skin some of them there might give you a very nice blur while some other there might actually give you a little bit of a luminosity everyone likes different powders and i actually have a very good variety of these powders that are ready to be talked about so guys let's start the first category would be the the setting powder in the under eye area it should be a setting powder that it's going to do its job while not super drying uh, your under eye area and it's going to lock the the concealer in place and i have only one powder that i consider one of the best powders i and i suppose i am not the only one that thinks like that but the whole world thinks like that and i can can definitely confirm that there is definitely something about it and it is from Pat McGrath Labs and it is guys the uh, skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder and mine is in the shade light and the shade light is is light is basically white there is something absolutely incredible about this powder that is super silky smooth you can see that it's white but when you're going to apply it it is not going to be white it is super silky smooth it, it locks makeup it sets the concealer and i love it in my personal experience if you have a matcher skin and matcher under eye area this is the powder that I can definitely say this is the powder that does its job. It's incredible and it's amazing. Good. When it comes to the setting powders, I actually have only one because I am not a very big fan of setting my skin. I rather prefer to put some um, finishing touches instead of setting powder. But I definitely have one in my collection. And it's this one from Huda Beauty. And it is Easy Bake, Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And mine is in the unique shade that it's, it's the pink one. What's your name? <laughs> and then the packaging is actually very interesting because you open it and 
this is how the packaging looks like and it is in the shade called cherry blossom cake i suppose the biggest minus of that powder would be it's super punchy perfume <laughs> yes it's oh my gosh it's it is a super artificial super punchy perfume that oh my it lingers guys if you're going to use this powder it lingers it stays and then this is how it looks like it is a wonderful super lightweight powder that is uh, proposed to be used for baking as well so you can definitely bake with this powder as well i mean i suppose me if i would be <laughs> Like 20 years younger, maybe I would bake or if I would be dressing as a drag queen <laughs> I would bake as well because for me baking train trend is in uh, 2023 for a daily makeup <laughs> It's a no-no. I mean where does this idea for bake of baking where, where did it came from? <laughs> for me personally make it stop you're uh, I mean, I'm not going on a stage and perform as a drag queen uh, so I don't need to bake but okay to be serious a little bit of a touch of this uh, of this wonderful setting powder is going to set your makeup lock your makeup and it's going to smooth and blur and it's going to be looking really wonderful I personally think that this is a very unique powder and it's shade cherry blossom cake it's famous and viral for the reason good and now we're jumping to some kind of an exceptional and very unique solutions when it comes to the powders. These powders, they're rather more on the finishing uh, side, but they are going also help to, um, to set your makeup as well. The first brand that I would like to talk about would be Guerlain, guys, with its meteorites. Guerlain meteorites, fierce glow, um, uh, a fierce glow uh, set, uh, pearls that is going to finish the finishing powder. Oh my god, I'm so lost with my thought. Excuse me. Anyway, yes, Meteorite Fierce Glow Powder. And this is the limited collection that has been launched for Christmas. I'm going to show you. But hey, I have as well the old version of the Meteorites. This is how they look like. But allow me now to concentrate on the version that is a limited edition. You open it up from the box and guys, this is how it looks like. It is amazing and it is in one shade that it is called To Clair. So you definitely can find the shade within the normal line, but then this is the limited. And what I love about this limited edition, that this limited edition powder is a talc-free powder. It is amazing. I don't know if Guerlain is going to reformulate all its uh, meteorites powder or is it only in this limited edition, but it is it is a good step. It is a good step that Guerlain as well is reformulating its powders and it's getting rid of the talc. And then when you open it, you have a little bit of a protection in here and then you have a pearls. And what is absolutely unique about this pearl is that every pearl has a different color and a different finish. Some of them, they're the, some of these pearls, they're pearly. <laughs> I mean, they're glowy, but not like super glowy. Some of them, they're smoothing. Some of them, they're color correcting. It's incredible. So when you do, when you use this powder, you basically take the, the brush, you swirl it around. So you mix all the pearls all together and then you apply it to your face for a unique and exceptional um, uh, makeup finish to your face. On top of that, they smell. I mean the smell. They they are perfumed. We are talking about the Guerlain. Guerlain it is a perfume brand. So don't be surprised that their products, they have a beautiful perfume. But despite the fact that this perfume is punchy, it's really punchy, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful and wonderful perfume. And I love it. I'm kind of like, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm ah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, uh, this is this is my personal reaction. I personally think that uh, the approach to Guerlain to makeup is definitely very special and unique. Um, it is a very subtle kind of a makeup, very beautifying makeup, and I personally love Guerlain very much. If I would like to compare the old formula to the new formula, I prefer new formula... Mm, better because it's less drying and it gives you a very beautiful natural finish it this powder is not going to be super flat matte but it's going to beautifully to give you a fix a finish that is going to be a little bit of a luminosity basically it is going to be invisible and it's going to look like your second skin it's amazing the 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 meteorites from Guerlain are definitely a product that are worth to be interested in in that product <laughs> okay guys let's go to another product that is definitely very unique and it's very um very viral and i believe it's viral for the reason and it's the one from givenchy that is the prism libre this one comes from a limited uh, edition christmas edition from the last year this year i don't believe they have launched any limited edition packaging but this this one is and last year the limited edition packaging of the powder looked like this and mine was in a very unique shade which was called 12 Lumiere Polaire. What I loved about this powder first that the limited edition, I don't know if it's if it's going to be that kind of a reformulation in the con, in the standard edition but the limited edition was talc free and I loved it but let's concentrate on the things that are actually very interesting and important is that if you would look in here you have a four different chambers prism should I say and in every chamber you have a different uh, different powder you can see it actually here on the puff so when you are actually going to take this powder for example, here to the cup. This is how it is going to look like you're going to receive from these prisms four different powders. And then when you're gonna mix them all together, you're going to receive a very unique and special powder formula. As you can see, oh my gosh, so pretty. It is that it's like it's going to well, the magic behind the, the, this powder of Prism Libre is, I just applied it right over here, that it is smoothing, it is blurring, it is, it gives you a luminosity, but not like glowy luminosity. It just, it's just not a very flat, matte type of a powder, but it is a very unique, it is a very unique type of a powder. Um, it looks very special, and what is uh, what is important as well to say is that this kind of a wait a second this kind of a color um, it gives you some sort of a color correction. This powder, so um, uh, there, that's why there are different shades of this Prism Libre powder. Um, if you're going to pick up a certain shade, some of them there actually might brighten a little bit of a foundation. In a case if your foundation has oxidized or become too dark, this is the powder that is going to help to find the remedy and brighten a little bit of a com of your complexion. In case if your complexion has become too dark. <laughs> or you know it's going to uh, some of the shade they're going to even out your skin tone it is a viral powder, powder for a reason and i personally love it and i think that uh, it's definitely worth mentioning and the one is the one of the best powders of the year 2023 good now let's jump into the hourglass because hourglass has to happen in here. I deeply believe that the hourglass formulas uh, are the best. No one came even close to these powder formulas. So the first one, uh, the first powder that I would like to talk about would be the hourglass veil. And it is the translucent setting powder. So yes, we can talk about this powder as the setting powder. 
because it is rather on the setting uh, setting side. But when it comes to the power um, of the setting powder, it is weak. <laughs> Let's just say it is weak. In comparison with Huda Beauty, this is super punchy setting power. While this powder from Hourglass, it's not very punchy. It's quite weak when it comes to its setting power. I'm repeating myself. But what is actually very special about this powder is that it gives you a beautiful finish to the skin that is absolutely uh, the powder is absolutely itself undetectable. It is, your skin is super smooth to the touch. It is slightly blurred. It is slightly, but very slightly luminous. And it is, it's, it's just amazing. I personally love this powder. And that was the powder that I used very frequently in my makeups at the year of 2023. And then another powder from Hourglass would be the Ambient Powder, which is a typical finishing powder. So the Veil Powder is the setting powder, while the Ambient is a finishing powder. And then you have different type of um, shades as well. Mine in here, it is the... My shade is the Diffused Light. My personal favorite would be dim light, diffuse light and ethereal light because of its super unique and incredible formulas. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Let's see. Let's do the swatch. So as you can see, this powder has some sort of a very special and unique luminosity that is not um, that is not glitter glowy. You don't see any glitter particles. This powder smooths, this powder blurs and gives you that incredible blurring uh, properties. I absolutely love this powder and one of the newest shades would be the Infinity powder. And some people don't love it. Allow me now to explain what is going on. Basically, Veil is the lowest luminosity setting powder. And then we go to the ambient powders that oops a little bit of that luminosity. And then eventually we go to the Infinity powder that is a mixture of the highlighter with the finishing powder. And this is what people don't like it. I personally love it because the glow that it gives me, that it's not an oily glow, but it's a beautiful radiant glow. It's amazing. And I love this effect on my skin. And I think that... <laughs> I. <laughs> You know, guys, I tried lots of powders. I'm definitely trying to review lots of powders and no one has ever came close to dupe that kind of a unique formula that Hourglass is, is proposing. So, yeah, Hourglass is definitely a wonderful uh, brand when it comes to the setting powders and the finishing powders. Good. And right now, let's touch a little bit of a subject of a finishing setting powder with a skincare. One of the most famous and I suppose my preferred uh, powder when it comes to the beautiful powder on the mature skin would be the one from the Charlotte Tilbury and it is the Airbrush Flawless Finish and mine is in the lightest shade Fair. Guys, I mean... <laughs> I mean, guys, oh my gosh, this powder is definitely a very unique and wonderful powder. As you can see, we like each other a lot and um, I like to apply it as well with a unique um, brush from Charlotte Tilbury, which is powder and sculpt. And basically what I like to do, guys, I'm going to do you, uh, to do you. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo. I take that brush. I swirl it around that powder and look at the magic. Oh, oh my gosh. So this is what happens basically. It blurs, it smooths and it gives me a beautiful soft matte finish without tiring my skin. The skincare that is in this powder definitely works and my skin loves it because obviously as a person that has a normal to dry skin, I don't like myself a lot with different powders. 
This powder is not going to hurt me and I love it and I enjoy it and it is one of the most beautiful powders, setting, finishing powders that I have because I would call it both. I would call it setting and finishing powder, although the setting power is pretty low in here, let's be honest. Uh, but it does both. It does set, it does give me a beautiful finishing touches to my makeup that I personally love. So for me, obviously, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder has to be found in this episode. Another product that I would like to talk about, and it was the recent discovery, it was the, pro uh, the product from Kosas. <laughs> and it is the Kosas Cloud Set uh, Powder in the shade Airy. So for me, uh, this powder is like this powder on steroids. <laughs> this, uh, this powder has some skincare and it does, uh, fin it does beautiful setting and finishing touches, while this one has expanded um, uh, the skincare uh, properties of the setting powder to the point when it's just unbelievable how much skincare can you have in this powder. I love it. And the shade Airy. So for me, the one one thing that I think it's important and it's definitely worth mentioning is that this powder, less is more. This is how it looks like. In this case, the less is more because this is quite thick powder. It's not as lightweight as the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, it blends with your skin and it gives you a beautiful soft matte finish. It is blurring, it is smoothing, uh, it sets your makeup, but then once again, when it comes to the setting power of that powder, it is, uh, it is all right. But if you're looking for a real setting power powder, the only one from Huda, this is the go. The other products that I have shown you are when it comes to the setting power side, they're a little bit, you know, they're, they're not that, that power and power and punchy. I'm going to repeat myself. But this is something that I wanted to tell you and uh, that is, I think it's very important that me as a person that is over 40 years old, I'm rather looking for uh, powders that are not going to be drying on my face. And luckily this collection that I have showed you, those are that type of uh, powders. They're going to do their job beautifully while at the same time they're going to give you a beautiful fix, a beautiful finish to your makeup. So, for example, if I would be wearing um, a luminous foundation, then I would choose powders like Kosas or Charlotte Tilbury to mattify that luminosity, to calm down that luminosity, give me a perfect blur and smooth and set my makeup in place lightly. On the other hand, if I would be wearing um, a, a mattifying foundation, then I would like to bring a little bit of a luminosity. And such powders as the Hourglass Ambient, or as the Givenchy Prism Libre, or as the Guerlain uh, Meteorite, that would be the powders to go. So I tried to give you the options, and these are my personal favorite and most revisited powders of the year 2023. So yes guys, that would be all when it comes to this episode. In next episode I will plan to uh, introduce you to my favorite blushes um, of the year 2023. In the meantime, guys, this episode has come to an end. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel where we celebrate diversity and beauty because diversity makes us all different, gorgeous and beautiful. Time to say goodbye, kisses and cuddles. So as for now, guys, take care. Bye-bye now.